This part of the tutorial is solely meant for TechTalk users and owners that choose to have input and output jacks installed as part of their system. At this point you should be familiar with your system and how to replace the batteries properly, record and play back a message from any cell and any level. The TechTalk system is designed to be activated by having the user directly press on a message cell, but what if the user does not have the ability to do so? Or they need the device to actually activate another item like an adapted toy or an environmental control unit. This is where the input and output jacks come into play. Let's go ahead and take a look at where they're located on the device. You're going to pick the device up and face it towards you. On the top panel, you'll see that the input and output jacks is actually located between the volume control switch and the level select. The input jacks are along top, labeled J1 through J4, and the output jacks are along the bottom, labeled J5 through J8. The way they correspond to the actual system, the first message cell on the top left is J1 all the way to J4. The bottom row is J5 through J8. What I'm going to demonstrate next is how the input jacks work to activate the top row. I'm going to be using a squeeze switch to activate message cell 1. What you'll end up doing is attaching the switch to the correct jack. Again, go into jack 1 to activate the first message. First, let me demonstrate what the sound or the message would be out of the system by directly selecting it. Can I have something to drink, please? Now again, if the user doesn't have the ability to directly press the cell, they can use their squeeze switch to activate the device. Can I have something to drink, please? And that would be how each one of the message cells could be activated via a switch. As far as the output, the output switches are meant for the bottom four messages. These have to be directly selected to activate another item. For example, the user might have an adapted toy connected to the system to J5. When they actually press this message cell, he'll speak the message and activate the device. And that is simply how the input and output jacks would work on a Tech Talk system.